How do I say this politely? <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed what we've had. I'll let her a, say a it. A little bit cooler than normal because, yeah, normal is coming back, right? I'll let her say it. I don't <laughs> want to get involved. Yeah, this is about it. This is, it's all uphill hill from here. There, there you go. That's all that's it is. That's a good way to put it. Uh, Teresa, today was 91, and that's not... How great is that? It's seriously great. This is now 11 days in a row. We've had uh, cooler than normal highs. The normal high is 97. Low this morning was 73. Outside now, it's 91. Feels like 94 when you factor in a little bit of humidity. Uh, here's what's happening. Tomorrow's not the worst day ever, certainly not for July. 95, 98 on Monday, 99 Tuesday. Then it gets just kind of into that uncomfortable zone of, you know, well, I mean, this is uncomfortable. This is just mentally uncomfortable. 100, 102 on Friday, 101 Saturday. I fully expect heat advisories because heat index values are likely going to be 105 to 110. So as we get into August here, pretty soon things are going to get uh, back to where we expect them this time of the year. It's been a nice ride while it lasted. A little bit of rain is still uh, showing up here or there in eastern portions of North Texas. And then as we go through the rest of tonight, pretty quiet. I mean, you know, there may be a stray shower in eastern portions of North Texas. We'll wake up to a little bit of cloud cover, some patchy fog. And again, throughout, you know, this is the afternoon Sunday, a, a spotty shower or two is possible. This is it. 20% coverage. Metroplex don't expect much, if anything, 10% at best. And like I said, this begins the warm up. 95 Dallas, 95 McKinney, Terrell 93, upper 90s to the west, and it just gets hotter from there. We are also watching the tropics. So something to keep in mind if you're having, if you have any vacation plans in the Caribbean or uh, the Windward Island, uh, Islands here, 30% uh, <laughs> chance that this area of disturbed weather becomes our next named storm. It would be Debbie. Uh, there it is, 30%. This is the zone that it could form in, so we'll watch it very carefully. Uh, but right now, that again is our only thing in the Atlantic that we're watching storm-wise. The other thing to just remind you as we head into next week is there's a pretty good plume of Saharan dust moving through the Atlantic. It'll move through the Caribbean and then the Gulf of Mexico. And then by Wednesday and Thursday, that will be pretty, pretty densely in our skies. And I expect it to uh, be the most uh, significant plume we've seen so far this season. Uh, some dust on cars, some nice colorful sunrises and sunsets. If you want to look at it, glass half full, uh, glass half empty, reduced air quality. So this does give people problems. So keep that in mind. Middle of next week, that's when we're expecting it to really ramp up. Tonight, 74, partly cloudy, pleasant. Light winds tonight, tomorrow. It's turning hot, 95 degrees. It was so fun while it lasted. I still can't remember the Dr. Seuss quote. Uh, don't. Cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. I, something along something those lines. Something like that. You're, so. you're close. I, I wouldn't know it either. But listen, North Texas, if you want to cry, I'm not going to judge you because <laughs> that's not my job. Uh, but there it is, 99 <laughs> degrees Tuesday. Uh, the hottest we've been so far this summer is only 101. And I know that's hot, but honestly, it has been and can be a lot oh, yeah. worse here. I, I do think we're getting maybe into that hottest air of the season territory by the end of next week. Rain chances... Eh, mm. heat, meh, yeah. Teresa. And it's just in time for the kids to go back to school. Poor it always kids. does. I, I yeah, that's just. Oof. And then we'll have another spike for state fair season with <laughs> rain. That's true. You're yeah. right. All right.